What's going on you guys? It's Kevin from the Humble Garage. For some reason Amazon sent me out two purple pandas, so I'm going to return one of these bad boys. If you don't know what purple panda is, it's a uh, GoPro, you know, vlogging mask, not my mask, vlogging mic um, that I use for my auto vlogs, kind of run them through my helmet. And uh, wow, this lens is like super, super fogged up right now. That's insane. Whoa, it's like a sauna. Hold on boys, let me wipe you off. Goodness gracious me. So anyway, I'm gonna rig up both my helmets here for vlogging setups. Um, the motocross helmet probably isn't gonna sound too great because, well, it's open, so there's gonna be a lot of wind noise. Anyway, I uh, just got back from uh, Alabama visiting my wife's dad's side of the family to celebrate my 30th birthday. Did a whole bunch of fun shit. And uh, gonna go ahead and do a cold start with Betty White here because she hasn't been started in about five or six days. And uh, take her for a ride to the bank to pull out a couple G's because um, as a 30th birthday present to myself, I'm gonna buy another bike. So my brother-in-law is taking me out to Mobile, Alabama today to look at a 2001 Buell Blast. Um, dude's asking 1400. I'm gonna try and negotiate it down to about 12. And do a steampunk street fighter rat rod style build on it. And uh, yeah, Betty White will have some company. Ugh, probably put the choke on, because it uh, ain't been started in uh, about five, six days, but it is hot as fuck, so there's that. Motherfucker, dude. Clutch was slipping bad. Anyway, heading over here to the Navy Federal down the street to pull out some cash money because I am uh, buying myself a 30th birthday present, which happens to be a new bike. I'm squinting right now, but uh, I actually have all the gear minus the uh, long sleeve shirt and or jacket. I have the gloves, I've got the boots, I got the long pants, and I got the full face helmet. But I uh, am wearing a t-shirt here as you can see because, um, yeah, trike dude. Um, yeah, it's Florida, it's extremely hot. Um, I think today the high is like 96 or something like that. And you know, I'm all about safety. I'm all about at gat, all the gear all the time and stuff. But um, yeah, it's just like super fucking hot though. Yeah, I haven't uh, rode this thing in about well it's been fucking pouring rain and shit um yeah it's been storming like a motherfucker out here we had like torrential downpours and shit for a, a hot minute so i wasn't able to ride which really sucked and uh now we're jumping right out into some hot ass weather so i'd rather ride in the heat than uh the pouring rain i definitely don't mind riding in the rain but uh there's a lot of lightning out here and um, a motorcyclist was just killed recently from getting struck in the top of the dome piece with lightning so that just doesn't sound very enjoyable at all um anyway so i'm buying a new bike uh i've been looking at a, quite a few on craigslist facebook marketplace stuff like that and uh the bike i'm looking at tonight is a 2001 buell blast which is a single cylinder air cooled 500 cc um bike that was made in conjunction with eric buell and harley davidson um it's not one of the super fast buells like the firebolt or the uh lightning i think it was called the blast is kind of like their more entry level bike but still a really nice bike it's still going to be a lot faster than uh this you know 229 cc dual sport here or whatever but um there we go the clutch doesn't seem to be slipping now so that's good yeah 
yeah this bike's still a blast to ride i'm still going to keep it in the family still going to ride it all the time but um i need something with a little bit more top end grunt a little more um pickup in the top end to commute to work in because a lot of the roads i commute on are like you know speed of traffic 60 miles an hour and this bike is like wound out um at 60 as where i think the buell blast tops out at like I've heard 110, other people are saying 80, 90, um, but it'll cruise comfortably at 70, that's for sure, and still have plenty of passing power left over, so that's really nice. Um, anyway, uh, I'm also taking the ARC pretty soon here, which is the Advanced Riders course through the Navy, um, which is cool. Um, it's an MSF course, so I'm gonna learn some more skills. Uh, they teach you a little bit more about, you know, counter steering and uh, high speed braking and stuff like that. Um, those courses are actually really beneficial and uh, they're free for, you know, active duty personnel. I think civilians have to pay for them, which is kind of, kind of dumb, but anyway, so I'm excited. I hope this bike I check out tonight is, you know, good enough for the $1,400 asking price. I'm gonna try and negotiate to about 1,200 or so. Um, I really hope that I pick up the bike and ride it home because it's about a 45 minute to hour drive, uh, yeah, hour drive each direction. So, um, so yeah, I really hope that I end up with the bike. Um, my brother-in-law's taking me out there. He's a cool kid. Um, not really a kid, he just turned 18, but um, anyway, he's a good dude and uh, yeah. I think sounds pretty good. Let's pop the modular for you. Some pops there. Ah, that old single thumper, huh? The old thumper motor. Close the modular. Anyway, let's open up the old face mask here. Oh boy. So yeah, we live over by this Navy Federal. It's the like largest fucking, it's like their call center headquarters or some bullshit. And uh, it makes traffic a real cunt, but whatever. Oh, I think the branch, yeah, branch office is like that away. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera when I park here and, oh, shade. I need that in my life. It's amazing. All right. You guys got motorcycle parking in here? Alrighty. It's kind of like lunchtime right now, so it shouldn't be too, too busy. Let's park over here. Skirt. All right, see you on the other side. Alrighty, I'm back on zero. That gets me, me $1,400. That is the asking price of the bike. I'm gonna try and negotiate to um, like 1,200. I think that's pretty reasonable, I mean, it's a 2001 it's got 7500 miles on it but i mean i don't know um i can't really you know judge until i see the bike in person obviously um, there we go there we go hot dog hot dog Yeet. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm excited. I mean, I definitely want two bikes in the garage. Well, ideally I'd like to have like four or five bikes in the garage, but for now I need at least two because I need a, a street bike I can commute on. And then the dual sport will be kind of like my backup in case the other bike's in the shop and the weather's nice. Um, but I can also, you know, take it off roading. So there's a lot of trails and shit around here. So that'll be nice. I mean, a dual sport definitely has its purpose in a garage for sure. Ideally, I would like to have like a Harley, a sport bike, like a Daytona 675R, um, and then a dual sport, like a bigger dual sport, like a 450 or a two-stroke 250, something a little bit faster than this bad boy here. Uh, um, man, I haven't rode this thing in like a week and it just feels so good to get out there on a motorcycle and just enjoy the breeze on the nipples and the, the sound of that exhaust and finger fucking the clutch and honking my horn for no reason and standing up and acting crazy and doing skids from 50 miles an hour like that and you know swerving and grabbing a handful of front brake and oh god it's just so damn fun i love it i love those motorcycles boys they are 
very fun. Let me tell you about that. Hey, sister. What's up? Oh, somebody's car smells like a real bag of dicks. I know it's not my bike because I've been taking good care of uh, old Betty White here. Come on, give me the green light. 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 So I can wind her out. Oh my god, it's hot. I wish there was a temperature gauge on here, but I'm sure it's, uh, we're looking at about, I don't know, 90 or so. It's pretty fucking hot. I'll tell you that right now. We need to go to Walmart sometime today, too, and get some puppy food for my small dog. And, uh, I want, like, some kind of a scrub brush to clean the floor of my garage. Just, like, spray some soap down and take a scrub brush and, you know, scrub the shit out of it. Come on, give me the green light, bitch. Scoot. There it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. There he is. What's up, bud? <laughs> oh, Chad. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I love riding motorcycles. The shit's so fucking fun. I just, I just, I just, I just love it. Bike lane, don't mind if I do. Top speed, baby. Baby. Oh, let's get over so this truck doesn't rear in my anus. That dude was close as fuck to hitting me. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that one damn bit. Fucking bastard. Just because I got over doesn't mean you need to jank the Johns off me. Oh, I'm trying to get that front wheel up. The only way to get the front wheel up on this bike is to clutch up because, uh, it doesn't have the juice for it, um, even in first gear. You can absolutely pin the throttle like this. And, uh, yeah, it just doesn't... It won't get the front wheel up for you. Never mind. I actually did just get the front wheel up. Um, but I kind of had to give it a lot of body language. Like, really joink it up and all that other bullshit. Skeet! Scoot, skeet! Uh... Oh, a little stoppy action? Let's throw a couple little revs for the old neighbors, you know what I mean? They they, they love this bike, they do. Oh, it smells like fuel in here. Hopefully she's not leaking. Hopefully she ain't leaking. I don't think she would be. I do smell some fucking fuel though, I'll tell you that right now. Nah, it's good to go. I think she is running a little rich though. But that's no big deal. Slap a couple revs for you ladies real quick. Let's get the mic kind of out a little bit like that. There we go. Mm. Luscious. Absolutely luscious. But yeah, so hopefully by the end of the day, Maria the Mercedes, Betty White, and old Jon Snow will have a new comrade. Don't really have a name for it yet. I know if I do pick up this bike, I'm going to go with some kind of a steampunk uh, Street Fighter build, kind of a stripped down rat rod, take all the, uh, you know, the bullshit fairing off and all that stuff, strip it down, um, you know, have like some rivets on it and just like a whole, you know, st steampunk theme. Um, I'm actually going to put a picture up here and here on the screen that'll show you guys uh, kind of what I want to do. Um, I basically want it to be unrecognizable as a Buell Blast. I want people to, you know, just, just be like, what kind of bike is that? It's insane. So that is the goal. Um, I'm going to go inside in the AC and uh, let Betty White cool off a little bit. I rode her pretty hard. Thanks, Betty. <laughs>